Hey guys, I'm Courtney and I'm having a quarter life crisis on the internet. Welcome to the chaos. And welcome to day one of the 12 days of Christmas chaos. I know, I am a mastermind with originality. <laughs> but in actuality, we are uploading every day until Christmas, the 12 days of Christmas chaos countdown. And to start out, we have a Christmas bucket, a Christmas can. I've got to stop trying to do the CC thing. I figured to start out strong, 12 days of Christmas chaos. It's day one, which means there's 12 days until Christmas. I thought what better way to start out than 12, see what I did there, 12 mystery toys to open. Let's try something we haven't ever tried yet. This is the Toasty Treats, and we actually have the Big Cookies oven to test out, so give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see the big one also. Pop in bread, make a surprise pet. Just give it a go. Here's our little piece of toast. Place the toast into here, right? Oh my God, what am I doing wrong? This literally is just like a three-step instruction. Oh, I'm trying to push it down. That's what I'm doing wrong. You don't just shove the toast in. Big reveal here. Toast goes in, handle goes down, and then you push it back up and you get the same piece of bread. Oh, there we go. Ta-da! <laughs> Off to an overwhelming start. Oh, it is scented. What could we say about that? I think it spoke for itself. Let's do something that I can't mess up. Care Bear Peel and Reveal. Super fun stocking stuffer for someone who likes a mystery or someone who is into nostalgia because it's a Care Bear. We actually had a series of these on TikTok where I was trying to find Grump a lot bear because I just think if I were a Care Bear, that'd probably be me. Still looking for him and you basically just peel to reveal. Again, not really something that you need a whole lot of explanation on. Let's get a close-up angle, shall we? There's a starting point on their foot slash ankle, and then you kind of just peel. I just think this is like a fun little activity, a little, it's not gonna take a ton of time. Hey, if you're anything like me, it may take longer than it's supposed to. I really am not gonna be able to peel that part with my nails how they are, but if you were to fully peel it, you're done, and it just goes on a cute little stand, and now you have a collectible. As a stocking stuffer, a five out of five. As a personal experience, a four out of five. <laughs> Let's do something relaxing. I'm actually obsessed with crazy errands. This is the Santa's Hidden Helper checklist. That's what it looks like when we opened it. So the checklist has two elf heads, two elf shoes, and two elf bodies. We're gonna see how long it takes me to find all six. I'm gonna try to find all six, go. Okay, I found one. I found one of the elf heads. Okay, that one's there. I found an elf shoe. Guys, I need to get another one of these and race with Anthony. Is that an elf? Is that an elf? Is that an elf? <gasps> I found the other elf. Okay, I found both elves. I only found one shoe and no shirts. I know it's not supposed to be easy, but I kind of felt like if you were really trying. Guys, what? I, I can't. <laughs> what if it was just like a prank? Like there's just no shirts. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm calling it. Five minutes of me looking and I still couldn't, imagine that, imagine me. Just sitting here for five minutes straight staring at this. I rate this a five out of five. Love Crazy Aaron's Thinking Putty as is. Also like an activity. And as you can tell, it's not really the easiest one. So I think that's great. This is gonna go in our top spot. Up next, if you guys came from TikTok, you saw this already. These are the Rainbow High mini accessories. This one is the shoe accessories, but they do also have a purse accessory. But I think that these are actually perfect for stocking stuffers especially if you know whoever you're getting them for has a rainbow high doll because these accessories do fit on the dolls so if you don't want to get a whole doll but you want to add to their collection or give a new accessory this is really fun and it's a whole unboxing experience if you will so once you open the trunk like so you take out the little box that's inside and on the top each one comes with a certificate of glam and it's like a almost as if you bought like a designer bag you get like the well i think i don't actually own any designer bags bags but I'm pretty sure they come with like that sort of thing like a receipt of authenticity yeah that's literally what it says this certifies the authenticity and it has like a whole little number and everything I should open a bunch of these on here and just call it unboxing 100 designer bags there's a little clickbait this I think is supposed to be like a little display card and then it also has a receipt and it says like the style of shoe it says fall of 2022 series one I think it's so funny the amount of detail that they put into this the actual unboxing experience itself it's very luxurious. This is as close as I've gotten to a luxury purse unboxing or shoe unboxing for that matter. So you open the box and then 
It's literally wrapped in custom tissue wrapping. It has a little RH sticker on it for Rainbow High. Break the seal and you open your shoes. And these ones, of course, are a statement look. Why do these look like Santa's shoes? If he were a dancer. No, but like, seriously. It literally, this is Mrs. Claus's boots. <laughs> Literally, they're red high boots with buckles on them. Almost Jingle Bell looking buckles. It almost looks like the buckles that go across the reindeer on the sleigh. Oh, and by the way, it comes with a dust bag. Yes, literally, which I think is actually nifty. But I think this is cute. 4.5 stars. Up next, we have a plush crush. I'd actually argue that an adult might get more entertainment out of this. I don't know why it didn't break on the table, but it didn't and then it fell on the ground and as I'm sure you heard, it shattered because that's what it's supposed to do. But inside, you actually have a plush. We got, oh boy, we got the unicorn. <laughs> Number six. I included this because I feel like these sort of dig for diamond, dig for whatever, they're kind of popular and they've never been my favorite. Here it is. Here's your tools. And this is why it's not my favorite. This is not going to make any progress. But you know what? That also might be the point. Real diamond. One of 24 boxes. A real diamond. I wonder what that is. It's like a messy bath bomb. I will say that I feel like these are price point wise on the inexpensive side, which is great for a stocking stuffer. Like, is that what I'm supposed to do? Do you know how long? This would take. Then again, that's kind of making progress. You really go ham at this thing. <laughs> like, what is this supposed to do? Zero out of five. If you don't care about cleaning this up and you want something that's going to kill some time, maybe give you some free time away from the kiddos, or get yourself one and have a little family night. I mean, when you put it like that, it's kind of cute. If you all had one, you're all sitting around the table, you're digging, seeing who gets what, that makes it sound cute. When it's just me in here, <laughs> it's a much different vibe. I wonder if I throw it at the ground really hard, if it'll just explode open. It broke in half. Maybe these things aren't so bad. I just found the cheat code. Um, all that for this though. Imagine though, I got a rock crystal, which by the way, looks very similar to a rock. Imagine digging for like 45 minutes and by the time you dig it out, you just get a rock. Maybe it's gotta be cleaned off, but it's not really looking very crystally. I'm seeing more rock than crystal here. I don't even know what this is called. Diamond. Grin Studios, I should have known. Grin makes the most god all. <laughs> I'm kidding, but it's like, uh, they're like what I would consider like a party favor. I'm waiting for Grin to step it up. Not really making me grin too much. Nope, still just seeing a rock. Lucky number seven. We're gonna go with a mini brand. You guys have seen me open hundreds of these without any exaggeration. Oh my god, wow. So I just picked a random one that we had and we're actually opening a series four. Series four is apparently still the orange slices. Now they have the regular like snap open two half capsules. Interesting. Pringles, a strong start. Pop tarts, mm, cookies and cream. Lost points on the cookies and cream. Number three, of course my camera battery dies when we open a gold. Do you know how many of these I opened where we never opened a single gold on TikTok and we're just on here for a stocking stuffer video and we open a gold? For number four, we have our list. Oh, we have money in this one. Literally packs of 20. Why have I never seen money like this in mini brands? I'm so confused. This series is like a blip in my memory. That is so bizarre. We also got a bomb burrito. All right, and last but not least, <laughs> always has to be like when I'm trying to say something. Really? What is the deal right now? Oh, we have a Revlon Color Stay Foundation. I used to use this foundation. This is in the shade 220 Neutral Natural. <laughs> These are the Trolls minis from the Trolls DreamWorks Band Together movie. I think they're adorable. We just did a campaign with them on TikTok. So I figured we'd add them in here. Also, each one comes with a troll. <laughs> 
Here's our troll. Who knew they did a whole movie about me? <laughs> and they each come with an accessory, and this is this guy's accessory. It's his own little friend, which I think is adorable. And it comes with a checklist of a hundred, actually over a hundred trolls that you can collect from the new movie and the old movie. Who we get? We got John Dory, ladies and gentlemen. Say hello and goodbye to John Dory. I was going to do a time lapse to see how long it would take me to do this puzzle. And these pieces are teeny tiny. And I actually don't know if you should give this to someone that you like or hate. It's 150 pieces and it fits in this tube. I stand by the fact that I think it's the perfect stocking stuffer, but boy oh boy would this not be easy. New challenge, let's just see how long it takes me to get a piece together. I really don't build too many puzzles. Wait, is this this guy? Wait, 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 wait. No, I don't think that's right. I thought it was right. It kind of fit together. I just want one piece. Just one piece to move on. This one? <gasps> Wait, is that even right? I keep thinking I get pieces right and then they look wrong. This one, this one, this one's gotta be right. No, it doesn't even, what? There's gotta be professional puzzle builders, right? I wonder how long it would take them. Wait, 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 wait. How is it possible that that doesn't fit? This is insanely irritating. Micro puzzles, massive fun. I beg to differ on that last part. This is a penguins on ice jelly slime and i do think that slimes overall would make a good stocking stuffer this one's from quiet slimes and what's fun about this one is it comes with charms on the top and one big penguin charm how pretty is that it looks like i'm holding a snow globe somehow slime has really grown on me i think honestly the reason i wasn't the biggest slime person to begin with is because i wasn't trying good quality slimes and now i'm just a slime expert let me know if you want to see a slime video how many things have i told you to let me know in this one video i don't know what texture it feels like it kind of feels like a cloud slime almost i guess this is called a jelly slime honestly i don't know if i'd ever heard of a jelly slime me saying i'm an expert and then just not knowing what the jelly slime is super pretty it literally looks like glistening snow now let's add in our charms though shall we and there's our penguins on ice or rather in the ice big guy in there all right honestly i could sit here stretching this all day but i won't we have poppet pets but this is the winter limited edition poppet pet and we've done the spring limited edition from last spring and it was like this little maze so we're gonna see if it's the same thing can the pets of winter wonderland help this lump of coal find his holiday spirits we'll find out and just like that yours truly has saved christmas five out of five <laughs> i'm sure the target market is much younger but i think it's super fun <laughs> And last, but most certainly not least, we are ending this stocking stuffer mystery toy video with a bang with the Miniverse Make It Mini food. And these are taking over the internet. So many different things in one. It's a collectible, it's a little DIY, and it's a mystery. Like that's three whammies for me. Let's see what we have. It's a glaze. We have little veggies, a little tray. Are we? hitting right now and then put our turkey down we're just going to pour the glaze on top of our turkey you could probably put it on i don't know if we should put it on top this is a thick turkey so there's not a ton of room put the purple ones on top the fun thing about resin is if you leave it out in the sunlight it'll harden it'll also harden in a uv light which this kitchen happens to be if you open the oven this is literally a uv light close it now we can leave that to cure in our oven five out of five it checks all the boxes for me mystery collectible diy and mini so that was our last stocking stuffer that we had to open we're gonna do our top three my top three coming in third place is the Crazy Aaron's Thinking Putty. I think that any putty would be a good stocking stuffer, but I'm specifically talking about the hide inside. I think it's a really cute activity. It's Christmas themed. You know, I struggled with it. So it'll definitely take some time and you can do it multiple times. Like you can just keep messing it up and researching for them. In second place, it's gonna have to be the Papa Pets. I love Papa Pets in general, but I love their limited edition like project style where it's a scavenger hunt slash challenge sort of activity kit, if you will. I just 
think it's adorable. And drum roll in my first place, it's actually in the oven. I just, these are checking the boxes for me like I literally just said. It's cute. That's like the best way I can describe it. And just the fact that there's a holiday edition with three recipes, chef's kiss. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up so that I know to make more videos like this. There's gonna be 11 more videos going up on this channel before December, so let me know what you guys wanna see. Also, let me know what your top three picks from this video would have been. We are, in fact, doing 12 days of giveaways on Instagram, and some of the things that you saw in this very video are also in giveaway day one, which is today. 12 days of giveaways, 12 days of uploads, and 12 days of driving myself completely off a cliff. <laughs> We're also 14 days into Vlogmas, which is crazy. I literally wiped my vlog channel and just started fresh with Vlogmas, and I can't believe that we are 14 days in and still going unstably strong. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up so that I know to make more videos like this one. You can subscribe to join the chaos and to join our 12 day countdown to Christmas. You can subscribe to the vlog channel to continue the chaos where we are doing vlogmas and also uploading every day until Christmas. And you can follow my quarter life crisis all over the internet at Courts Chaos and I will see you guys tomorrow with our next video. Bye guys. And to start out, <laughs> and to start out, I just can't lift the bucket. Not because it's heavy, just because this bench is on is at him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the bucket wasn't heavy and I can't talk. It's just that this bench is on its last leg, literally. And if I move it the wrong way, it will snap and I will fall. <laughs>